Look at, look at your name and say, Nabal. Just in case you didn't know. Just in case you didn't know. That the spirit of Jesus. At the spirit of Jesus. It ain't about you. Just in case you didn't know. At the spirit of Jesus. Point the camera out. Point the camera out. It ain't about it that lady. And just in case you didn't know. At the spirit of Jesus is not about our two pastors. Just in case you didn't know. At the spirit of Jesus is not about Bishop. Just in case you didn't know. We need you to know. It's all about Jesus. What's the title of the sermon? Y'all help me out now. It's all just in case you didn't know, I need you to know it's all about God. Y'all said that. Y'all y'all said that like y'all ain't thankful. Just in case you didn't know, I need you to know it's all about God. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. It's all about God. It's all about God. And see, so when we get to the place where we understand that it's all about God, we have gotta find out, Lord, where 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 does the confusion lies? You know, one thing about the spirit of Jesus and, 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 and Bishop, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a teacher by nature. Amen? Amen. So my thing is, I need to find out, man of God, where does the confusion lies? The confusion lies when, when, when they pat me on the back because I'm a black man. <laughs> my God, my God. Hey, but I stand up because... <laughs> I need to find out where the confusion lies. Where, where, why is there no, no, no peace in the sanctuary? Where does the confusion lie? That's easier. Am I the one causing the confusion? Am I the one that, 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 that the reason that others can't see things plainly? <coughs> God said, I, I allowed, I allowed the, the, the messenger to, 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 to look a little tainted because I need to see, I need to see your turn, your about to make the messenger into who I'm supposed to be. I need to, I need to see if you got your eyes on the message of the messenger. Amen. Where's your eyes? Where's your focus? It's truly all about God because you gotta understand one thing, the only reason you're living today is because you somebody in your in your in your in your life or somebody in your circle or somebody in your family gets it. They get it. Whatever God permits, I will yet love. Somebody somewhere in your family get it. Whatever God allows you to go through, I will still yet love you. Whatever you go through, uh, uh, whatever I go through, I need, I need to know that there's one, is there one that will still yet love me? When I, when I get that, I understand it's not about him, it's not about her. I'm sorry to tell you this, not even about you. Amen. Amen. If I'm trying to do anything other than help you or move you, I'm trying to man uh -oh, what's that word? manipulate. <laughs> And it's the same when I use the love you have for me to try and move you out of where God has you. Anybody ever been around somebody like that? Yeah. You got peace. You got peace in your storm because you have learned how to endure the storm and yet, yet have peace. Anybody, anybody find, finally found that place? And then all of a sudden, here you go, and, and while you got peace in your storm, he come out and say, God ain't on, God, God, that ain't the kind of God I serve, that ain't what God does, and, and God don't do it that way. You better get up out of there. You ain't a woman of God. You ain't a man of God. But yes, in the midst of the storm, you say, you know what? God has did too much for me in my storm. He did more for me in my storm than you did when I wasn't even in my storm. So who am I going to trust? The one who ain't did nothing for me when I didn't have a storm or the one who done everything for me when I got a storm? You better talk to me. It's all about the one who's going to help me not when I'm in my storm and not the one that's going to help me in my storm, out of my storm, before my storms come and even after my storm. You're going to help me according to how my storms make you feel or not feel. You're going to help me if you feel like it. So that means if you still got feelings, that means when life hits me and you don't like the way life hits me, you act like it hit you. Hey, yeah. Tyson hit me, he didn't hit you. Hey, hey, man. Mike Tyson hit us through a blow and made me stumble. You my bishop.
Jesus, if you ain't supposed to stumble, mm. well, help me stand up. Come on. You up and get caught up in your feelings. Like you the one got hit. Mm. Tyson, Mike Tyson. I don't know, but Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, but somebody hit me and made me stumble. But the reason I am still standing because I don't have no feelings, and because I don't have no feelings, I don't care how hard he hit me, I didn't even feel it. So why are you feeling it? <coughs> Get out, <laughs> this is the only thing cracked up on that shit. <laughs> he just cracked it. So why, you? get out, if it ain't bothering me, why should it bother you? Amen. If God still got me standing, why are you worried about me falling? Just thank God for them. Standing. Every time I see y'all, from Sunday to Sunday, the first thing I do is, you know what, I know everybody went through something this week, and I thank God that you're still standing and got enough option and, and zeal to come and say, thank you, God. Amen. It's all about him. It's not about you. Amen. Stop trying to get people to fall in love with you and then manipulate them with your love. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, not your love, because if, you, if you're trying to manipulate, you ain't got no love for nobody. Amen. You got to fight similarly. Something that looks, I'm sorry, something that looks like love. But we learned this morning, when God, when God put you in a place, God said, you're going to be stiff-necked. Did he teach us that this morning? He said, when I put you somewhere, you ain't supposed to turn and look. You're, 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 you're supposed to be stiff-necked. That's what he told us this morning in the, in the class. If you were in the class, didn't he tell us that this morning? Amen. He said, my people don't turn around. My people don't look like right. My Amen. people have a... Amen. That's what he told us this morning in the class. I had never saw that. I always took stiff neck and being negative. But this morning we learned in the class, God said his people, the lady, uh, uh, Lot's wife, if she had a stiff neck, she wouldn't have turned into a pillow of salt. Amen. We learned that this morning in the, in the class. In the class, y'all should have y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. The class was talking about stubbornness. I like yeah. that. I feel like yeah. I'm on the spotlight. I feel like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. 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 In order for me to get to God's perfect will, I gotta accept His permissive will. Y'all remember when I taught y'all that? Amen. There's no getting to the perfect will of God until I learn to accept His permissive will. Because in His permissive will, He teaches me how to understand that He'll love me no matter what. Amen. In His permissive will, I see the power of love. In His permissive will, I see that love will take care of what it love. loves. Come on, somebody, y'all with me? So now, what I'm learning. The more love takes care of me when I don't think I'm right. The more love takes care of me when you say I'm wrong. The more love takes care of me when I'm feeling bad. The more I begin to trust love and not you. Come on. Amen. Amen. The more I begin to trust love and not my wife. Amen. The more I begin to trust love and not the deacon. The more I begin to trust love and not the missionary. The more I begin to trust love and not the minister. The more I begin to trust love and not the pastor. The more I begin to trust love and not my so, the saddest day of my life was when I had to have a talk with myself. I had to have a talk with myself, and I, and I had to tell, I, 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 it went like this, I said, self? Self said, huh? <laughs> this is our last talk. Yeah. Self said, your wife finally took you from me, huh? I said, I, I'm sorry, it wasn't her. What, you got somebody to replace her like me? No. Self, say, self, why are you asking so many questions? This is my, this is my conversation. I've been under your influence for 60 years. Mm. Amen. Can I have one moment? Can I have one moment where I'm not under the influence of myself? God can't influence you because you got too much self yeah. in. 
And so when you when you want when self want to do what it really want to do, it goes and finds a foreign substance, a foreign spirit. Some of y'all call it alcohol. Some of y'all call it drugs. Some of y'all call it lust. Some of y'all call it sex. So some of y'all y'all find a foreign substance to blame on why I did what I did. Self just did what self wanted to do, influencing you to do not what God wants you to do. All right, please. So I had to have a talk with self because I got tired of being influenced in doing the things that, that God didn't want me to do. But I was motivated by an angel from the outside that told me it's time to talk to self. Amen. I had to talk to self. My wife came to me and she said, she said, she said, baby, it's, you know what? I'll talk to myself. <laughs> she said, baby, myself, don't tell nobody if you talk to yourself but we gotta make sure nobody see us talking to ourselves <laughs> so she came to me she motivated me she told me what I needed in my life I needed to get myself out of the way so I could be with her she needed to get herself out of the way so she could be with me Amen. I need to get myself out of the way so I wouldn't miss church when I'm supposed to be preached. Amen. Y'all, 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 see, that's the problem. Y'all won't talk about your truth. Mm-hmm. See, until you talk about your truth, you're still hiding. As long as you're hiding, you're not. God is looking for you and, and He can't find you because you're hiding. And, 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 and how do I hide? How do I hide? Even after, even after Jesus found, it, ain't that something? Even after God, I, said, I taught y'all that there was Jesus. Because the Bible says no man has ever seen the face of God. Face of God. So if Jesus came, if Jesus was God in the flesh, and he was talking to Adam in the God, it had to be God. Yeah. Had to be Jesus. Jesus. See, but he had name, he had no name yet, so they just recognized him who he was. He was God, God in the flesh. So they just said it was God. So, here it is. Self in the way. Self in the way. And how does self hide? Even, even after he faked like he wanted to be found. How do I know he faked like he wanted to be found? A lot of y'all fake like y'all want to be found. A lot of y'all fake like y'all love God. A lot of y'all fake like y'all coming out. A lot of y'all fake like y'all confess. You ever heard somebody confess? But Lord, I I should forgive me for my sins. Lord, I I know I was wrong. And I confess and now I want to forsake. So now, Lord, I have repented. And I thank you, Lord, for teaching me the spirit of repentance. But Lord, can I say one more thing? My wife, if she hadn't did that. Mm -hmm. See, you have not come out of hiding. As long as you blame somebody else, because you, when you blame somebody else, you're trying to hide behind the one you're blaming. Make it blame, make it blame. <coughs> I can't get right in church, Bishop, all because of what you do. Stop hiding. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. That one too today. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mr. Mary Lee, I can't get right. If you would just come to church all the time, Mr. Mary Lee, I, 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 I get myself right. I have confessed all my sins, but Miss Marilyn, you got something to do with my... Stop hiding. Amen. Don't tell me you have repented. Don't tell me you have asked for forgiveness. Don't tell me you're ready to forsake as long as you're still trying to hide from somebody by blaming somebody for where you are. Amen. See, if you're hiding, you still think life or death is and begins with you. If you're still trying to blame somebody, you still think... This world won't stop if God take you away. Sorry. Yeah. The fine prince says, what does it say? With or without you, this world goes on. Amen. With or without you, this world goes on. Y'all with me? Amen. Now listen to what the word of God says. I got to get to the place where the perfect will of God, the perfect will of God is all that matters to me. But I cannot get there until I Accept his permission with what you've allowed in my life, Lord. You've allowed it for, for me to see how much you love me. I allowed your wrongs not to separate you from me. I 
allowed to we fall down, but you got up because I helped you get up. Love got you up. Amen? So now, when I understand how the power of love, now I say, you know what I noticed about God's love? No matter what I did, he still loved me. Amen. And so now I say, if I want to be like God, I got to love, love God no matter what he do to me. Amen. Then God said, you say you love me. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let, I'm going to let Bishop Robinson do some work for you and not pay you. Are you going to stand up like a black man and go get your money? <laughs> you know I can't get started. You can't get me started nowhere. You know, I'm going to ride it. I'm going to ride it to the end. Not like a man, but he's going to stand up like a black man. Are you going to The bottom line is, and then I feel sorry if that lady, if that lady hadn't been in the hospital. He might have been talking. <laughs> When I go after, if I go after you like that, because you didn't give me what I think you, I deserve, I'll go after God like that. Amen. If I don't feel like he gave me what I deserve. How do I go after God like that? When God don't allow me to get what I feel like I deserve because I go to his church. Mm -hmm. I go after God by saying, you know what, because I didn't get what I feel like I deserve, I'm not going to go to your church. You bother me, so I'm going to do what bothers So you're not bothering the people when you don't show up. You're neglecting your assignment, saints. You're a member of the spirit of Jesus. I pray you on this line, on faith. You're a member of the spirit of Jesus. And when you don't show up, you're not neglecting God. You're neglecting your assignment and telling God to go where he can never go because he's already in heaven and he's the one that created hell. Amen. When you neglect your assignment, given it to you by God, you're telling God to go where he cannot go because he's in heaven and he's the one that created him. I hope y'all caught that. Amen. And so I'm really in trouble when I, when I have the audacity with, with, just because I don't say it in word, I say it in my actions. I tell God, not right now, God. I don't think this is what I need to do. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. God, it is not right. Whatever is God says is right is right. It's not about you. It's all about God. Amen. You didn't write, this is where y'all mess up. You didn't write the story about God's life, our existence. God wrote the story about your life and your existence. Amen. Stop trying. You ain't trying to manipulate me. You ain't trying to manipulate the members. You're trying to manipulate God. Be careful. Be careful. Because one thing about a person who loves themselves, they love the thing they love next Money. as much. No. is the thing that came from themselves or attached to themselves. That's why God said, okay, you're going to curse what belongs to me. I will curse not one generation, but four generations Amen. of what's going to come from you. Be careful when you try to manipulate God's love for you. It's all about him, not about what you want, not about where you are, not even about what church you want to go to. Come on. I wish I could have saw me this morning on Sunday Driving. Oh, Sunday Driving is a new program I got. See, I got these all these TV programs. That they, 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 keep, they keep giving me these TV programs. Next week, I don't know, you know, Facebook, they call me and say, hey, you want another program? Oh. I said, who paid? They say, God. I said, okay, I'm good. <laughs> so they gave me another program called Sunday Driving. Oh, my God. Y'all, you, you need to go back and watch it. Go, when you leave here, I, 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 I T-vote it for you. So you can go, I, you know, put it on your DVR. Just go to your phone. You got a phone on your DVR. Just go back and, 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 and watch it, okay? You should have watched me. I had so much joy. I told him I'd drive 200. See, I told him I'd drive 200 miles just to go to church. Not on just on Sunday, but even on Thursday. Amen. Do I, you know, I, I come down here because y'all here, but I really come down here because I love this church. I love the spirit of Jesus. Amen. 
There's no church in the state of Florida like this church. There's no, nowhere near this church. I, there's no church that I'd rather be in on, on Sunday than this church. There's no church I'd rather be in on Thursday than this church. There's no church I'd rather be in on Monday than this church. Because you know what? They just sit building a whole bunch of churches around, around where I live. Brand new and just popped up. Beautiful. I mean, they got it just, if you met them, they, the devil wanted me so bad, he let me meet the pastor on my first visit, and they were just still under construction. I see you got a nice church, but I got a church in Fort Lauderdale that's even better. Amen. So what I'm trying to say to you, I said I'd like to say this. When I accept the love of God, I realize something that will that I can do. That can put me in his perfect will. I can love with no backup plan. Because God has no backup plan for his love for me. Amen. I went to visit somebody not long ago and I told him, I said, just love, just love your way out of that situation. I said, just you be nice, you be kind. I told you that. Just love your way out of that situation. Amen. And now you got people who are visiting other other, other pastors talking about talking about certain people and, and, and they're supposed to be men and women of God and they're telling them, leave that situation. Never, never will a man of God, a woman of God that knows God will tell you to leave because you shouldn't have a backup plan, especially with your church. Right. You should not have If you got a backup plan You will never remember anyway If you have anybody, Can anybody relate to this I'm about to turn this into a Bible study Can you relate Huh When you When, when God gave you your children How many children you got for Missionary Mary Lee? One Okay When God gave you your child I don't care how it looked What it did You loved it right you didn't have no backup plan to get rid of them when it got bad, did you? Hello? But when y'all don't understand something because y'all think y'all are elders now, y'all, I'm going to get to the scripture in a minute. You think you're wise than young God, you, you, you kick in your backup plan when, when God starts doing stuff that you don't understand. You got a backup plan. You thought you had one until you, vi you visited your backup plan. You, then you realize how, how much you love your church. She can't stand me. Don't worry about it. I can't stand me either. Cause I, I <laughs> back up plan. Be you. In other words, when I become God's property, I no longer be me. But when you are, when you be you, that means you operate just in case. Just in case. Just in case. It's gonna always be a place where you don't understand. God, because God said, my ways are much higher than your ways, and your, my thoughts are much higher than your thoughts. So it's always going to, you can always enter a place when you're dealing with God that you're not going to understand what's going on. And then you can sit up, and, and you, can, you can become a be you. Now look, so now that we understand that I accept God's permissive will, and in his permissive will, what he allows, he still loves me. So now I have learned through his permissive will, how to operate his perfect will to love like love others like he loved me. So what? So, 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 y'all won't, y'all I'm gonna, I'm gonna preach y'all woke this since y'all gonna sleep on me. I will preach. So, love. amen. Word of God reads. And now, a word to you who are elders in the church, who are wives in the church, who are grown in the church, who are not children in the, I'm sorry, who are children in the church but yet mature. Amen. A word to those of you who are children in the church, but yet what? Elders. Y'all with me? Yes. I am too an elder and a witness to the suffering of Christ. And I too will share in his glory when he is revealed to the whole world. You thank God for your enemies. You thank God for your enemies lining up against you. Why? Yes, we need them. Why? Because God ain't going to let them be right. You ever want to come out come out of somewhere? Make your enemies hate you even more. Amen. And how do you make your enemies hate you even more? You love them when they when they show hate, you show them more love. And they're going to attack you with more hate. And then they're going to they they try and hide behind God in the attacks. I'm just doing this because I love you. Love don't, love don't deserve. 
Love write me some thinking eggs. Like my wife do. If I, if I grill some chicken and we don't heat it up, I can't wait for her to put that gravy on that chicken the next morning with them grits. Cause that's love. So, so, so what really happened, man, God, when, when I grilled the chicken last night, it wasn't the chicken I wanted last night. I really wanted the leftover so I can get the steak and I can get the, 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 the hey, precious, how you doing? Come on in. Hey, y'all with me? Amen. So, wait, so stay with me now. Watch what it said. Elders, elders, children, but yet mature. Amen? Amen. It says, I too share in in I too share in his glory when he is revealed to the whole world. And a fellow elder, and as a fellow elder, I appeal to you. As a person who is a child yet mature, I'm struggling here. Can I appeal to you? Because one thing about God, God is never going to send you to someone to appeal to who has the same struggle that you have. If you're appealing to somebody who got the same, same struggle you got, you're a fool. Amen. And don't you tell me God sent you there. Amen. What two people who can't stop eating peppermint and, and God said, if you, if you keep eating peppermint, you're going to die. So I'm going to go over here and talk to somebody who's struggling with eating peppermint and, and, and tell them, okay, I want you to help me keep eating peppermint. And then we both going to die. I appeal to you because God said you're strong in this area. Amen. When you come to your bishop, you appeal to me because you say bishop is strong in this area. Amen. Hello? Amen. And I tell you this, God has made me strong in all areas. Yes. Amen. Even in the area of my weakness, I am yes. strong because I'm standing because of him. And I can tell you how to connect to him so you can stand there. But when you claim the weakness, mm. when you let people tell you that you're falling short, Amen. how can I fall short and I'm taller than you? Amen. <laughs> how can I fall short when I got hit and you're the one feeling it? Oh. Hello? Amen. Get out of your feelings! You're in your feelings because really you're trying to hide what's really going on with you. Amen. Stop hiding. Yeah. If you want to go somewhere else, just go. Don't, don't, don't blame me. Amen. You want to go somewhere else, just go. Don't blame Brother Dick and Nick. Amen. You want to go somewhere else, just go. Don't blame, the, don't blame these loving members in this church. Stop it. Bishop, why are you preaching like this today? Because God, this is what God, I don't know. Amen, amen. My son told me the other day, you know, I'm going to California next week, next month to do a, do a revival. My son told me, me and him were sitting on the couch yesterday. He said, he said, he said, Pop, what you going, what you going to preach on, man? He said, you, 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 he was like, he said, you heard it. He said, now, Pop, now you go to California, man. You got to have a word, man. You need to start typing, writing that word up. I said, man, what? He said, no, man, you just can't go out there and just get up in the pulpit and, and, and without something written down. You got to start writing that. I said, what? I said, they better be ready for God. They better be ready for God because you ain't going to see me write nothing. He, he done taught me how to speak for him. But this is my boy, so I'm going to go in here and write some things down so I can look good in California. I'm not going out there to look good. I'm going out there so people can see the glory of God. Amen. And, and nine times out of ten, for them to see the glory of God, somewhere along in that message, I got to look ugly. Somewhere along in that message, I got to look bad. So why would God make me look bad to you in real life? Why you want to deserve? When God make you look bad to me in real life, I'll be a fool to deserve what I see God has made look bad and still let stand. God don't want the truth today. Any, any pastor that tells you to leave another pastor while, while, in the midst of a storm is not a man or woman of God. Amen. Because at the right price, guess what? They'll leave you. Amen. If they're telling you to leave another man or woman of God. 
I'm just talking today. Y'all all right with me? Amen. Y'all 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 still love me? Yes. Huh? I ain't really talking. I'm talking about those on the who who bootlegging on 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 and they remember they bootlegging on on Facebook right now. That's who I'm talking to. Yo, Mr. Red, he crazy, man. Off the chain. <laughs> I'm supposed to look crazy. Amen. Look what the word of God says. Man of God. Even, even, even if we don't like each other, we're going through something. Will I still show you love? Amen. Will I love you? I love it. Will I talk to you? Even in the midst of me going through and everybody attacking me, who I who I help? Everybody else. Hello. Y'all got to understand something. Anybody can buy a car Amen. or a church. Mm. Especially a church where they got money in the bank. Yes. Amen. But when God, when God take, take, take a minister, we had, we had $18,000, $20,000 in the bank one time. I was ready to buy a church. <laughs> and then this man hit us with this, this mortgage, this, 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 this note, and, and what's called. I said, Lord, how in the world are we going to buy the church? Now we ain't got no money. God said, now I'll buy the church for you. Amen. I'll buy the church. What you say? For you. Amen. He said, tell the people to do all that they can do and then I'll do the rest. Amen. Did he do it? Yes, he did. did he do it after Bishop came out of his storm? Amen. He did it while Bishop was in the what? The midst of his storm. Anybody can get blessing when there is no storm. But can you, can you, can you? See, I can't see God if you get the blessing and you ain't in the storm. But if God puts you in a storm and you're blessed while you're yet in the storm, in the, the, the heat on, I don't get hot. But it's hot up in him. Is it heat on? I my God. Excuse me. What they say? All right. My God, I don't get hot. Y'all know, y'all y'all know they call me Cool Mo D. It must be the word. It must be the word. God take me from hell to heaven. Hello, somebody. <laughs> y'all stay with me. We doing all right? All right, stay with me. It says, and two, I will share the glory when He is revealed to the whole world. A fellow elder is I appeal to, care for the flock. I don't even want to say this one. That God entrusted to you. You have been endured, ordained everybody in here. Y'all forgot that day what I did. Yes. Y'all remember what I did one day? Yes. I ordained ordain everybody as what? Pastors. Yes. When I ordained you as a pastor, this is why you did that. So we can care for each other. Amen. Pastors are supposed to be. You are a pastor of the flock called the Spirit of Jesus, and we're supposed to care for our flock. I'm supposed to care for you, and you're supposed to care for me, bishop or not. You when you are ordained to take care of love your brothers and sisters as I have loved you and in doing so. Amen. You will show the world that you are. Care for the flock that God has entrusted with you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly. For we for, not for what we can get out of it because we're eager, we do it because we're eager to serve God. I come to church not to see how many people are here. I come to church to, to serve God. And see, it's like when I, when I play golf. I was not a good golfer because when I played golf, I was trying to play golf like I do with a baseball. In baseball, you hit the ball. In golf, you swing the club. And while you're swinging the club, you swing it in the path of the ball, and the ball just get in the way of the club. So in other words, when you play golf, you complete the swing not even seeing the ball. But in baseball, you hit the ball because you got to see the ball. But in golf, it's just like the spirit. You swing without seeing the ball, and then it goes where you need it to go. But when I'm trying to swing and hit the ball, the ball goes in and everywhere. Just like in the spirit, when I'm trying to do right by God, instead of just being who God called me to be, Amen. I'm trying to be right, I'm trying to live right, I'm trying, trying to make sure I look right. See, when I'm trying to look right, that means what the area that I'm not looking right, I gotta hide, it means somebody finna get blamed. 
I got to hide, meaning somebody is about to get what? Every time I blame somebody, I'm hiding. I'm blaming my husband. I'm blaming my wife. I'm blaming the church member. I'm blaming it. I'm blaming it. I'm blaming Chris on my Christine on my job. <laughs> y'all know y'all can't tell me you're bitter. That's so bitter I don't want to hear no more. And we ain't gonna hear no more because God has worked that out anyway. Oh Lord, I call her baby in front of you. Amen. You should have saw how I hugged it other night. I said, he, he wanted me to see how I'm hugging you. He should have been here. <laughs> Watch this. God said, don't Lord, oh, don't Lord, don't Lord, don't Lord, don't Lord, what? Over the people. Assigned to you. In other words, don't try to be bigger and better than your brothers and sisters that you are not pastoring. Amen. Walk with them, not in front of them. Amen. Walk with them, not behind them. So, well, at least I'm walking behind. So you can shoot them in the back. Walk with them. A lot of y'all are following, so y'all y'all got certain people y'all are following, so you can shoot them in the back. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. I don't want to walk. I don't want nobody. I don't want to walk in front of none of y'all. I surely don't want none of y'all walking behind me, because all y'all are in love with me. Amen. Hello. I want to walk with you, because that's what they did with Jesus Christ. They walk with the Lord. He came down and they walk with him. Y'all all right? Watch what it says. Don't, Lord, over the people assign to your care, but leave them with your own. Hello. Good example. Now, this, this, is, the part where we, this is the part where we get confused. This is the part where we get confused. Come on, woman of God. One of y'all, either one. The real wife or the fake wife, whichever one come. So now. Good example. Good example. Here I am, her husband, got a good job, making a whole lot of money, paying all the bills. Good example. You know, I want him to see this. I want to rub it in. But good, good example. Y'all hear this? Walking with her, paying all the bills, doing everything I'm supposed to do, as a man of God. So now she's motivated to do everything she's supposed to do as a woman of God. Good example, her not doing her part, if I'm carnal, I'll stop doing what I'm supposed to do. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get a pitch to hit, so I'm not gonna hit. I'm not gonna swing through like the golf swing. I just swing through and the ball gets in the way. In other words, I just do what I'm supposed to do in a swing and the ball gets in the way, and the ball goes where it's supposed to go. But with a baseball, I hit it. If I don't get a good pitch, I don't hit it. So a lot of y'all want to play baseball and not golf. So if she don't throw me a good pitch by doing what she's supposed to do, then I'm not going to pay the bills the way I'm supposed to pay. I'm not going to bring the money home the way I'm supposed to bring the money home. Because she ain't treating me like the man that I am. If I got to say I'm a man, then I got problems with my own manhood. She ain't got nothing with my man. I, if I got to remind, you going to treat me like the man that I am. You So really, you insecure with your own manhood if you if you need somebody else to validate your manhood. Amen. You insecure with your own manhood. So here it is. Now, here I am. And all of a sudden, Watch this, good example. I don't, I have taught her to love. Even when she wasn't doing it right, I loved her. Miss, I'm um, about to call you Missionary Leola. You must be free to become a missionary. I'm speaking those things that they are. I love her, even when she ain't doing it right. Watch this, y'all with me? Stay with me, because I'm about to do in the sermon. I love her, even when she ain't doing it right. I still do what I'm supposed to do. Now, guess what happens? All of a sudden, I lose my job. I can't pay the bills the way I've been. We struggled. But I gave her what mattered when I had it to look like it. So now, even though I'm struggling, she gives me what I need to make me feel like a man. She still loves me. 
the example is not the thing that you can give yourself from the world. The thing that God has shown you, a love with no reverse, regardless of circumstances. Uh, hope you ain't, I hope you caught that. A love with no reverse, regardless of, you don't find that every day. And I'm going to rhyme that day with, with somebody name. And you don't find that every day. Rhyme that day with somebody name. I'm through with that. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Will love me no matter what. Amen. Will love me no matter. Because why? My love, not, not my money, was always the example that mattered to who? God. Love you because of your money. Hello. So now when I'm in between jobs, I ain't got to worry about my wife. Because even when she wasn't acting right, I still she know what I could do it and I had it, I would what? Do it. But even while doing it, the reason I kept doing it, even when she wasn't acting right, it wasn't that I wanted her to see I was taking care of the bill. I want her to see that my love is for real. Jesus Christ. It's all about God. Amen. What are you saying, Bishop? The love is God and God is love. I'm doing the right thing because I want you to know I'm connected to God's love. Amen. It's not because you're perfect, but because of my love for God, all I see is the perfectness in which God has made you. You are still standing. You're still with me because God loves not you, but us being together. Jesus Christ. Don't miss that. It's all about love. Y'all got this? I hear the single woman saying, but Bishop, why are you talking to them? What, what about me? Don't worry, your boy ass on the way. Amen? Amen. Amen. If how I know, but you wouldn't be hearing this message if you wanted. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now everybody got this? Even in her season of imperfection in my eyes, I still walk in the perfection of love. Amen. Even when your husband is not walking in perfection, you still walk in the season of what? Love. So now when you fall short and you're, you're in between jobs, or, or you, didn't, you didn't do what you're supposed to do, you know what? You have taught him how to love you. You have taught her how to love you. Not because of the things of the world, but because of our relationship with God. And God saying, we go better to what? Yeah. Sit down. Hallelujah. It's all about God. Amen. It's about God where I can see him in church. And it's about God where I can't see him in our relationship. The thing that connects and keeps our relationship connected. It's about God where I can see him in church. And it's about God where I can't see him. In the place that keeps our relationship, our marriage, or whatever the case may be, connected. Amen? Amen. I'm, I'm about through. It says, in the same way, you who are younger must accept the authority of elders. Not, not wisdom, not, not age, but wisdom. I've had, I've had, I've had, I've spoken with, 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 with Sister Denise. Sister Denise said some, some powerful things to me. I didn't say, sure, you're not, you're not wise in the things of God. I heard God and I listened. Same way with, like today, uh, the man of God back there, he said something powerful. And I, I listened. Because at that moment, he was the elder. He was the one carrying the wisdom. Amen. Don't get caught up in the title, said, because I got this title. You just missed the show. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I recorded it just because I want you to see it. Okay, bitch. <laughs> Y'all got this? Amen. So now. The wisdom is not in the title. The wisdom is the one whom God is speaking to in the moment. Y'all got that? Yes. So now, here we go. And when a great shepherd, I'm sorry, in the same way you, you are young, who are younger must accept the authority of the elder. And all of you dress yourselves in humility as you relate to one another. For God opposes the proud. In other, and he gives grace to the humble. So in other words, what is he saying? God approves of those who brag about what he has done without showing them where he brought you from. You don't like that. You want to talk about how great you are? Talk about how ugly you were before, before God did what he did. Amen. That's right. He said, oh, don't, don't, don't. It's not about 
about you never was about you. I didn't do it because I wanted you to brag on you. I did it because I wanted them to see that I can do it for them too. Amen. So operate in the balance. Y'all with me? Yes. Operate in the balance. Operate in the balance. So humble yourselves under, under the mighty power of God. Amen. That is our mistake. There was one time I humbled myself under the mighty power of my wife. I wanted to please her more than anything. And I would please her for a little while. But then God said, you really think I'm going to give you all you want because you're trying to please her? You really think I'm going to give you all that you want because you're trying to please the church? God said, when you make it all about me Amen. and they know me, they will be pleased. Amen. If, they know, if they don't know me, they, they ain't got the patience to wait on me in order for me to please them through you. If they don't know me, they're not going to have the patience to wait on me in order for me to please them through you. Y'all caught that? Yes. That was a fastball. Did y'all catch that? Yes. That one of them three pointers I shot from Ham Cole. Right. Unbelievable. One of them unbelievable shots. So humble yourself under the mighty power of God and at the right time.
You don't care what you look like. You don't care where you've been. You don't care where you got to go to save a soul. You'll go in and say, you know what? I, I, I trust the Lord because I don't trust the Lord because he sent me there. I trust the Lord because he put me here on this earth. I will trust the Lord no matter what. Even though he slayed me, I will yet trust him. Even though he don't give me what I want, I will yet trust him. Even though when I can't see him, I will yet trust him. Even when you call him. Dawson. 
Isaiah, Isaiah Dawson. Amen. Their father and husband, Dwight Dawson. Yes, Amen. yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Brother Robert. Yes. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Daryl Holloway. Yes, Lord. Laurie Holloway. Yes, God. Minister, Minister Arthur Huff. Yes, Lord. Chevy Huff. Yes, yes Deacon, Deacon Michael Huff. Yes, God. yes, yes, yes. Auntie Mildred Jackson, Uncle, Uncle David Jackson. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yeah, yeah, Dick, Dick and William, Bishop Williams, and, and, and that crew. Yes, yes. They're all blessed. Amen. They're all blessed right now. They're all a part of our day of eternity because Amen. we endure it and they're yet connected to us because God said, I gave them to you as an assignment if you were ever in their midst. Amen. If you were ever in their midst, I gave them to you as Alvin. Amen, amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, yes, yes. We thank God, we thank God for glorifying what we can't see. We thank God for taking us, not, 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 not taking us beyond the devil because we, 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 we yet support it and love each other even if we don't understand past that day of evil. Because in that day of evil, even in that hour, we saw it was all about God. We saw it was all about God. Amen. And when you make it about God, God said, I'm going to let a family member get taken away from you. And see if you're going to go get that family member. Amen. Journey broke down. Amen. Going to cost a whole lot to go get them. But if we can go, if we if we if we if we don't care what it costs to go get a van, what what do you think we care about a soul? Amen. We don't care what we don't care how much we gotta humble ourselves, we don't care how much we gotta beg, we don't care what we gotta say, we don't care about getting on our knees, we don't care about lifting them up. We 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 just want all of y'all that was here to know that we miss you, we love you, we embrace you. Cause we don't we go beyond the day of evil. And we're all living in the day of eternity. Amen. And we came too far together. We came too far together. To let the devil think he got the victory of splitting us up. We came too far together. To let the devil think he had the victory. Even if he think it. We shall be overflowing from this day forward. We shall be overflowing from this day forward. Yes, Lord. We shall be overflowing. Yes, Lord. You know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Jesus will pick it up. You just want to stand up because you're a black man. <laughs> <laughs> we fall down. But we get up. We fall down. But we get up. We fall down, but we get up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. We may have fallen, but thank God, because the only way we're going to get up is He's going to lift us up. We may have fallen. But thank God because, man of God, thank you. <coughs> He's gonna what? You stand up, man of God. I ain't gonna mess with you. Man. You stand up, right, man. <laughs> Do y'all understand what's going on here? Yes. We are delivered Hallelujah. unto one another yes. because we make it all about God. We make it all about God. and not our feelings. Amen. So now I'm not telling you what to do, but if we got to get on our knees, anybody that you know that should be here that's not here, Amen. humble yourself. Yes. Humble yourself. <coughs> Tell them we are in our day of victory. Amen. We're in our day of victory. 
Amen. Our year of rest is beyond us. And God says, you have rested. Now you're about to enter your year of new beginning. That's right. Amen. You have your year right. of new beginning. Two zero. That's our, that's our theme next year. Two zero one eight. Jesus, you, God, new beginning. Two zero one eight. New beginning in what? My love for my spouse. New beginning in what? My love for my children. New yes. beginning in what? My love for my church. Yes. New beginning in what? In my finances. New beginning in what? Whatever I desire, yes. huh? God said, I pick you up to give you what you want. Amen. Amen. I pick you up to give you what you want because you stayed with me. Thank you, Lord. I